Hi, this is DMJack92. Uh, I'm going to do a little intro video of myself, of who I am, in case people are wondering, who is this guy? One guy actually asked that. Uh, it's a... Uh, yeah, I'm going to call on anybody. <laughs> it's one of my fans. Uh, he's been with me, watching me for a while, though. A really good fan. Um, anyway, so... And I have other fans too. They're 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 good fans too. I appreciate all of my fans actually. You guys are awesome. You guys make it possible for me to make these videos in the first place. Uh, and I enjoy your ideas and suggestions. If it wasn't for you guiding me in the right directions, probably wouldn't have been successful in my opinion. Um, anyway, so I go by DM Jack ninety two on the. YouTube videos, you already know my name's Jacob Katner, my actual name. Uh, you can call me Jack, uh, which is my fifth name. Um, I am from the United States, currently live in Ohio, but I was originally born in Texas uh, a long time ago when I was a kid, <laughs> obviously, as a child. Um, I'm 40 years, 40 years old. I if you want to know horoscope, that doesn't really matter really to me, but my horoscope is a Virgo. <laughs> if anybody cares about that stuff. I mean, that's just superstitious astrological stuff in space. Um, so my story, why do I watch Chinese women? Well, I don't just watch Chinese women. I also watch Korean women. I like Japanese women. And I like Vietnamese women. Um, Thailand, I'm not really into Thailand women. I've seen them, but that's just not my thing. Um, so it's not just all Asian women, okay? <laughs> it's, it's just certain countries I like watching, certain women. Um, but especially, I, I'd say my, my favorite are Japanese women, uh, but I get along, the ones I get along with the most, if you're talking about relating, I can relate to people from Korea a little better, South Korea, um, but I, I, I do love Japan, I do love it, uh, but this is a story, when I was a, a, a teenager, uh, when I was young, there were, uh, I was, I lived in a poor neighborhood, it was a, uh, not very safe neighborhood, I guess you could say, uh, there's a lot of violence uh, that happened there, gun shootings, people stealing from other houses. Uh, there's a lot of bad things that happened in the neighborhood. I'm not going to call out what, where that neighborhood is at. You know, it's not anybody's business on that area. But I'm just talking in general. But in that neighborhood, uh, there was a uh, a Vietnamese family, and uh, there was this boy. That, and I was young. He was a teenager also, and I used to hang out at his house, and you know, we played Nintendo together. And he let me borrow his Nintendo games, and I let him borrow mine. And you know, we were really good friends. And uh, my mom, she was trying to have me write an essay on uh, different uh, cultures of other countries, and Germ. She was suggesting Germany, you know, because I have. German ancestors, and I was like, you know, I, I want to try something else. So I wanted to, I decided to write a paper on Vietnam. And so, since I had a friend who was Vietnamese, he tried to teach me a little bit of Vietnamese for being able to speak it. I wasn't that good at learning it, by the way. Plus, I was young. And um, while I was at it, I also had to look at some pictures, because I needed pictures of the, the way people dress in Vietnam. This is 1990s, by the way, that I'm talking about. Not current uh, way people are in Vietnam. Because um, people change over time in any country. And they're not always the same forever. You know, that's just part of life. People change. Uh, but I really liked how the women dressed in the 1990s in Vietnam. It, it looked really nice. It was very attractive to me. Um, and and also the women, obviously, they looked attractive, too, uh, from my point of view. Um, 
and I, and I was really fascinated with that. I thought that was pretty cool. Uh, so since I got that fascination, that piqued my interest in other countries in Asia. As, and so when I was in my 20s, uh, I went to college uh, briefly, and I took Asian history, uh, which I wasn't really that good at. Uh, Asian history was, I didn't get a good grade on that one. But Japanese culture, surprisingly, I had a passing grade on that. <laughs> uh, I did a good job learning about Japan <laughs> in college. Um, especially the, the, the religion, um, which was, uh, I was fascinated with the Japanese religion. Uh, but, you know, not, I mean, it's evolved, like I said, to think, things change, even religion changes over time. But at that moment in time. Um, especially the past and the history of Japan as well I, I was interested in uh, and I was like man you know Japan's pretty cool so I just started researching it. Amaterasu I'm probably not pronouncing it right but that was one of the uh, deities it was Amaterasu and um, yeah and then now that was at that time um so I that's two things that piqued my interest in, in women, and then this year, uh, last year actually last year I started trying to learn Japanese, uh, speaking Japanese, uh, you know Nihongo, and uh, I was trying to learn that, but then I was trying to f be able to interact with Japanese people, but it's hard to reach people from Japan to talk with them, um, so instead. Since I had a fascination with their music, I liked the J J Japanese pop stars, and also I liked the Korean pop stars too. They're, they're interesting to me. I started uh, watching them, and the next thing you know, I was watching fan cam dancers. I don't know how it went from K-pop stars, J-pop stars, and I was watching a few C-pop, you know, Chinese pop stars, to fan cam dancers. Somehow it just went from there to watching women dancing. <laughs> You know, I was like, okay. But I was watching, uh, you know, the fan cam dancers. And then the next thing you know, later on, I started looking for where these dancers are at, which was Panda TV at the, at the time. Uh, of course, Panda TV, I think, is going away now. But um, but I was like, oh, okay. So I went there. Then when I was in Panda TV, originally, like I said, I wanted to interact with Japanese women. But since I was on there, all of a sudden I was like, well, since I'm talking to women from China, I guess the right thing to do is to learn Chinese. And it seemed like what I should be doing. So I started trying to learn a little bit of Chinese and I started talking to those women and their their fans. And uh, it was fun. I thought it was really fun. I thought a lot of things were fun. Uh, it was educational too. I, I was learning about it. And I was learning about China, China culture a little bit too, which was a fun experience as well. Um, you know, because I have fascination with uh, Asian history, obviously the cultures, not just limited to Japan, China, Korea, uh, Vietnam, uh, Thailand. I tried to learn about a little bit, but I wasn't successful at that. I I was interested in Thailand. Uh, briefly, uh, when I was doing the Katner Games thing, because uh, I did my Katner Games business, uh, which was originally supposed to be for computer games, but I don't know. That's it's, technically it's for anything. Um, and I did the robotics thing. You already know. I built a robot that looked like a woman, and uh, but I was mostly focused on brain because I wanted to learn about the brain and how it functions and stuff like that because I when I was in high school uh, I took a biology class and that's why I have an interest in biology and then I also bought a chemistry book and to learn about it's not for <laughs> bad things it's, it's just so I can know how the body works the DNA and all that stuff uh, which is a good thing it's good to learn how people operate and function um yeah uh a while back uh when i was younger and i'm sorry i know this video is gonna be a little long uh you can just watch what you want to watch uh but when i was younger i wanted to uh, study architecture 
and I actually took some architect classes in school and I also took a few theater classes learn about acting a little bit I wasn't I mean I did acting uh, uh, at one point but not in school uh, or as like a career as voluntary acting like for free uh, for religious purposes um, when I was more active in religion uh, you know in Christianity now I'm not as active anymore uh, but when uh, and I it was a play on uh, Christopher Columbus I know he's probably not the best role model in the world but <laughs> it was it was just something I did it was a good experience uh, you know played the part of a sailor a monk um, a sword bearer for the queen it, it, it was fun that, that was fun and you know I have did a lot of exploration I rode uh, white water rapids uh, dangerous rapids so that could like hurt people people could die from those I've heard deaths have happened I rode it and I survived I rode the rapids on a raft um, and I've also done rappelling off the side of a cliff <laughs> unique experience to be able to see you know you look over the side and when you're coming down that cliff it looks like you or it's like the world is turned sideways it's a little scary your heart's pumping at first but when you look at it it's actually a beautiful experience you see the world at a different angle when you're coming down the cliff it's very unique but yeah I don't really know I mean, there is a lot to say about me, but there's some things I can't talk about. I say a lot of things I can't talk about. Um, I mean, I, I I was also was in the in the Navy. Uh, I'm not anymore. <laughs> I'm a veteran, uh, Navy veteran. Uh, but uh, that was a unique experience as well. Um, uh, I got through it. That's what matters. I was scared. That I wouldn't make it boot camp but I did it I, I made it and I went to Yeoman A school and that's where I learned my clerical abilities I was very good at uh, clerical work typing up reports and stuff like that um, so I, I've got a good educational background and good some good work experience and, and uh, I don't know and I've traveled you know to Another, I've traveled to Mexico, you already know that. Uh, and I uh, spoke a little bit of Spanish. Not fluent in Spanish, but I spoke a little bit. Um, I'd say. I don't know. <laughs> Happiest moment in my life would be when I was. Well, as everybody says this, when I was a, a kid. <laughs> I was a boy, I guess. And I don't know if that was that thrilling, because when I was a boy, I threw up a lot. I had a stomach problem all the time as, as a child, so... Um, <laughs> uh, very sensitive to certain foods. When I eat food. <laughs> That's why I'm a picky eater. It's not just because, oh, that looks nasty. I mean... You don't know something until you try it, you know. But I've tried different foods. So stomach's like, no, that ain't happening. I'm like, okay, I guess can't eat that. <laughs> um, yeah. Uh, my favorite color is green. <laughs> Answer the common questions, um, uh, which matches the color of my eyes somewhat, hazel, and. I like pink, but not to wear it. I don't like to wear pink. <laughs> I just like looking at pink, not actually wearing pink. Um, and not having my rooms the color pink. <laughs> Unless I have to. Uh, but yeah, I like a, a woman wearing pink. To be more blunt. <laughs> it just looks nice. That's a pretty color. Uh, my favorite food mashed potatoes I love mashed potatoes with no garlic if, you put, if there's garlic in the mashed potatoes it's done <laughs> uh, 
relationship is over. <laughs> don't like garlic. Um, yeah. I don't know. So, yeah, I don't know what else to say. I guess I can look at, look at something. Oh, I love comic books, by the way. Comic, I love science fiction. I love comic books. It's my favorite stuff. Favorite topic to talk about. If it's anything else, I'm, I, I don't like sports. I'm not a typical, stereotypical male. I, I mean, I like watching women dancing, but I don't like sports. I like science. I'm a nerd. I like science fiction, fantasy, uh, stuff like that. Co cosplay, you know, people dressing up. I'm. I don't normally dress in costume unless I have to, but, uh, but I like watching women dress up in costumes. You know, who 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 wouldn't? I mean, that's good stuff. Um, that, that damn thing. <laughs> All right. Let's see what else we got. Uh, blah, 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 blah. Oh yeah, I have three brothers, one sister, many ne nieces and nephews. Way too many. A lot of cousins. Uh, da, da, da. Okay, we're blah, blah, blah. hobbies. Well, you already know I build robots. Um, when I was a kid, though, I used to have the string, and it, and I put the string around the fingers and make different patterns with that string when I was younger. I don't have that anymore, but I used to make some really good patterns with that string. Uh, it was pretty cool. It was like tricks to it, too, to using the string. Um, oh, yeah. I also, you already know I have German ancestors, I have Jewish ancestors, Scottish ancestors, Irish ancestors as well. And uh, I do celebrate Hanukkah once a year, as if anybody's in, <laughs> wondering. Um, I don't go to no, I don't go to a synagogue, <laughs> but I just celebrate Hanukkah because remember my Jewish ancestors. They went through the hardships that they went through in life. Um, There's got to be something else. Some of the scripts I can... Care about that. Oh, yes. So, you know, I do... Now, I was in the Navy. I did... When I left the Navy, I had an honorable discharge. I left it as a yeoman third class. It's like a petty officer third class, which was an accomplishment. I passed the test with flying colors. I was like, wow, I passed this test? How did I do that? I was just curious before they were going to discharge me, and they gave it to me as I was honorably discharged. Uh, and I was valedictorian. I was the number one student of my high school. Um... I always had perfect attendance at both school and work, um, most of the time. Yeah. Um, yeah. Ba, ba, ba. Oh, I used to exercise, and I plan to go back and exercise again. And I love cats. I'm a cat person. I'm not really a dog person. You know, dogs are okay, but I prefer cats. This is my preference. When I was in my twenties, I had two cats. I mean, there was other cats, but cats that were mine. I had two of them. They died. One of them died of a flea infestation. And uh, the second cat died uh, of old age. Uh, uh, not too long ago. That was uh, <clears throat> that was in um, two thousand and fifteen. December 2015. Uh, his name was Ben. And, uh, yeah, that that really killed me on the inside. That was a pretty sad moment. Anyway. Yeah, well, that's why I hadn't gotten cats for a while. 
because you know when you have a pet other people that just see pets as just a pet but to me uh, you know pet to me is it becomes like family you know I've had a lot of pets not just the cats I've had fish I've had hamsters I've had a guinea pig and I wasn't happy every time they died it always broke my heart except the fish the fish were different <laughs> the fish but the cats and the dog not the my dad. There were dogs, but they weren't my dogs. The cats and the guinea pig and my hamsters. Uh, that hurt me a lot. Especially when I, one of the hamsters I accidentally killed. On accident. And I broke out crying like crazy. It walked behind me. And I accidentally stepped on it. From underneath the shoe. When it was outside. Of its uh, tubes. And... Uh, um, I don't know. I wasn't. It wasn't a happy moment. <clears throat> but uh, anyway, I mean, I think about it. Maybe getting another pet. I don't know. It's just too hard to deal with when they die. It's not an easy thing to deal with. Um, to the other people, they're like, oh, it's not a person. They just get another one. Well, I just, I just don't see it that way. I'm sorry. Um, I mean, you can have connections with people. That's true, but I don't know. When you, or a guy like me, who's not, I'm not going around the clubs and <laughs> bars and going to fancy social activities. You know, other the closest I get to that is going on the internet, chit chatting with women, okay. Uh, but or going to work. Obviously, that's a social thing too. But if you're not including that stuff, the closest I get to social activity that's not involving building robots and recording YouTube videos, it would be a pet. <laughs> but uh, anyway. So, I guess that's it. That's not really much else to say. So, this is Steam Jack signing off. I will talk to you later.